Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. I have got this micro P51 Mustang fuselage ready to molt. I've got my part all in there. Look how that part all came out. That is some shiny, shiny stuff. Where is it? There we go. And it just came out just it's flat. You know, I, I put a little water in it and it thin coats. Then the last coat kind of put a wet one on there. That thing is shiny. I hope that comes out. It might lock on there, guys. But if it does, I know a way to get that part out of there without it locking on. I've been thinking about it. I've been kind of looking right down there in our corner. I think it's going to give me a fit. But I, I, I know a way to keep my parts from sticking. Just, just plug my stick. Well, no big deal. I'll get her out. I'll get her out. And plus, my parts will be thin. They'll flex a little bit where this plug is pretty much solid. Okay. But I'm ready to start making the mold. Okay. Now, what I did is I first I put some wax on there. My honey wax. Waxed it all up real good. Let it set. Ten minutes. Buff it off of there. Okay. Then I sprayed my part off. Just a release agent and a gun. Uh, sprayed a couple coats of that. Just misted it. Just misted it two or three times. And then uh, kind of put a wet one on and let it dry. Now, I'm ready for my surface coat. Get this at Associated Industries. And uh, this is surface coat. Epoxy surface coat system. That is what this stuff is for. And I love it. It is for putting surfaces on molds. And the difference of this, they sell white resin associated, but the compression strength is uh, real high on this. Epoxy construction or compression strength is off the chart. Where the white resin they sell for making molds, it's 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 cheap, guys. Two hundred dollars for five gallons, two fifty. But uh, it don't have a very big construction strength. It's for putting your cloth on after you got this on. But this has a real high compression strength too. It's not as high as straight epoxy, but it's up there. And uh, that's what you got to look for in a surface coat. You know, obviously the best. This stuff you want to keep thin, thin coats, you know, because uh, you need your fiberglass cloth to, to keep it from chipping out. Where your aluminum base or your aluminum filled uh, surface coats, man, they can be a couple inches thick without no cloth, you know, so uh, just use it like you're supposed to and everything works great. Thin coats, keep these coats thin. As thin as you can possibly get them, pretty much, and still cover the part pretty good. And that keeps the air bubbles out and makes your uh, ends come out really good. But if you try and cake it on there real thick, you'll end up with air bubbles. And then you need fiberglass cloth. On a mold like this, I'm going to start out with three quarter ounce cloth and get put it in all the corners and where there's a corner you can see right here just I want this indented like that where my stabs plug in so I gotta keep that thin too or there's just gonna be an air bubble there and we don't want that fixing a little mold like this is gonna be hard to do you know, so we don't wanna have to try and fix it then we lose detail in the fuselage. It's the same way here, man. We gotta keep this real thin so we don't lose none of our detail. Right here is gonna be real 
critical not to have no air bubbles right there. That's got to be perfect or your part will lock on. And I put that clay in there on this uh, deep where I glued that the parts together. It's really deep there, and I don't I don't want my panel lines quite that deep, so I filled it up with clay. This indent indention we want in there. So when I glue my exhaust stacks in there, they're gonna look good, man. I just backed it up with some styrene on the back side. And of course I built my sides, that can I'll keep this mold from ever warping. Thin coach, man. to set a couple three hours till it's just tacky and I'm going to put another coat on it then we're going to have some late night Bob TV when I'm <laughs> actually making the laying cloth on the mold but in a small mold like this it goes quick 30 minutes or a big Thunder Chief mold it's like six hours to do a half <laughs> Do, 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 do. Man, I wonder if that NASCAR race ever got ran down. That was my favorite track. I like watching Talladega. But anymore, you know that restrictor plate. Anyone, anytime a car that's been in a wreck and it's all taped together, got duct tape all over it, <laughs> can be on the same lap with someone that's just wasn't in no wreck. <laughs> That's restrictor plate racing, though, you know. It's dragging about it. It was dying, so then it's slowing down. Just a thin coat of this, and over this whole mold sides. A little bit goes a long ways too. I mixed up a hundred grams and that was more than enough. I was thinking it wouldn't be enough. Mm 
Do, 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 do. I have to try and get as much on them dots as I can. Got no air bubbles though. Bam! There we go. Let that set for four hours. Go cook me some dinner. Get that uh, top flight wing. Get it trimmed. See what we can do with that tonight. I hate to waste this stuff. You know, I really don't need any more. something else she took off she grabbed my grabbed my box of sponges a little bit ago and the whole box and, and, and just had it running across the garage I said Trixie she stopped dropped the box picked up a wad of gloves and just took off for outside well I caught her but I grabbed the gloves, you know. I said, if you give me them gloves, it was my gloves. And she kind of growled and was tugging around. I said, I'm going to give you a spanking. She sat down and was just holding her mouth shut. I said, you give me them gloves. And she wouldn't do it. And I said, Ma, where's your fly swatter? She let track go of them. It was funny. Oh, uh, it was funny. The dog's trip. <laughs> We're too old for that dog. <laughs> Alright guys, there's our mold. Bam. That's gonna be one cool little Mustang. It's gonna be burning up the sky here pretty quick. Shoot, pop that out once that mold's done. I can lay one up in 30 minutes. <laughs> no. My carbon fiber, that carbon fiber is expensive though. Man. That kind of blows. But that's what we got to do to keep them light. They're going to have one layer of, uh, of three-quarter ounce cloth and then a layer of carbon and vacuum bag it all. And that is going to be one light. Then I'm just going to use some carbon tow for a couple of bulkheads in there. A few slots ain't going to weigh nothing. The wing don't weigh nothing. The stabs are going to be in my foam. It's just going to be one layer of uh, three-quarter ounce cloth, some foam. Uh, and then uh, two pieces, glue the two pieces together. That's it. This thing's going to weigh just ounces. <laughs> and with that 049, it's going to be a missile. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have some fun with this airplane, baby. But we'll get her done. It won't take long. And we, you guys can watch it right here. We're in my shop, baby. So we'll see you back in the shop. St. Bob time. 
St. Bob Station.